What's up guys? So it's winter in the UK and that means horrible cloudy days like this and that is a bit of a problem for me because my garage is actually solar powered because it has no electricity. So in winter time I have a little generator which powers a 12 volt battery system. It's able to top up my battery bank to supplement the lack of solar power. After I built it, it worked great for a couple of years and then I decided to mess with it. And that's how I broke it. After the generator broke, I just left it for ages and didn't even touch it. So today I decided to do a little video explaining how it broke and why it broke and how you shouldn't do the same thing. So this is the generator station that I built and not much has changed since I did the video a couple of years ago. That's where the alternator and engine setup was. Now, what happened was, I'll put in some pictures from me doing it, but I took off the head. I uh, bought a higher compression head, higher compression ratio head. And the plan was to also advance the ignition timing a little bit by using a stepped key for the keyway, which is quite a popular modification. So unfortunately, what happened was that I didn't leave enough of a gap between the coil and the flywheel. And somehow, I don't know why or how, during maybe thermal expansion or something, the coil ended up catching the magnetic uh, trigger plate and it ripped the mounting point off of the, the mounting post for the coil clean off and also has done some damage to the crank I believe because when I go and turn the pulley here on the on one side of the engine there's a noise and there is no turning Oh, it does turn a little bit, but hopefully you can see that. So I think I broke the crank. To be honest, it probably could still be salvageable, but I decided to go with something a little bit bigger. So this is a three cylinder Kubota D662. And instead of driving one alternator, it's now gonna be driving two. This thing is gonna be a whole project in itself. This is a prototype governing system which is going to be autonomous and automatic hopefully that is going to fit in there which may be a bit of a challenge but uh, wish me luck so if you're interested in seeing more of this guy then do subscribe hit the bell hit the like and i'll do some more videos in the future thanks for watching